Hey guys, Corey here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming to hang out with me for another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the best farming strategy for Town Hall 12. If this video helps you out in any way, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up on it. When I first got to Town Hall 12, I immediately noticed that a lot of my old farming strategies were not working as well as they used to at Town Hall 12, so I felt it was necessary to make a video about the changes. If you guys recall, when I was at Town Hall 11, I was able to go to the Gold League and loot exclusively with Barch and just kill it all day long. So much loot, so fast, and when I got to Town Hall 12, that didn't work. So we're going to go through several different farming attack strategies in this video the most popular ones and we're going to say the good parts and the bad parts and guys we're actually going to start out with goblins because every time i do a video on farming i get in the comments no nah, man goblins are the best and i used to love goblins i still do goblins are handy but goblins are only good for getting buildings on the very first level of the base. Look at this. So we got full collectors, all right? That's exactly what you're going for for goblin looting. But they're just on that first level of buildings. Normally, you don't even break into walls with them. But these walls are so low level that it doesn't pose an issue. You can get right through that first group of walls using a couple giants. Just kind of tank some of the, like, mortars for the goblins to get through. There we go. Two giants. Goblins in. Goblins are actually just going to mow right through those walls and get that first layer. But you guys will notice that second layer of buildings inside the base, which on this one is all defenses, but a lot of times you're going to find more resource collectors on that second level of the base and goblins are not good at getting to that second level of the base in fact i'm gonna have so many goblins left on this one i'm gonna try and dive them in to get some more loot with a heal spell i think like heal two heals and a rage and it just doesn't work the splash damage is too much to overcome with those heal spells um so here i was actually gonna try and come in from the bottom but then there's double layer walls there it didn't work so i'm, I'm gonna like re re try over here on the right hand side in a moment yeah when i realized they were just going around i figured i was focus my goblins on this section giving them a heal spell so they could hopefully get through some of those blasts and they made it through some turns out my heal spell wasn't quite deep enough so i dropped another one but this even with that other heal spell the splash damage is real so not able to get in any meaningful damage on these structures a little bit of damage to the gold but i think i sent in like another 60 goblins there with three different spells so first layer of resource structures goblins are good at getting but look how much look how much the Funisher has left in his base look how much loot i left on the board all right now we're gonna go check out barch because this was my favorite attack strategy uh excuse me farming strategy for every other town hall level and i still like it barch is good barch is great there's lots of good things about barch in fact if you look at the training times of the troops check this out the goblin training time is six seconds all right the barbarian training time is only four seconds and the archer training time is five seconds so seem like really small differences but when you are in, you know, on a boost and trying to loot, just boom, 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 it makes a difference. Your Barch army is is ready much faster than Goblins. So honestly, I like Barch a lot better than I like Goblins. The nice thing about Barch is a lot of times you can get to that second layer of the base, like the storage right here. Uh, you can get that, not usually with Goblins, but with Barch, usually you're going to get all the resource storages and, and collectors that you want on that second level of the base. So just dropping down, usually two finger drops is what I use. Go Barbarians and then Archers right behind them. I t lost a ton of Barbarians to two giant bombs in the outside of the base up there now is rough but you can already see those archers working in on that storage at the second level of the base there they're going to be working on this storage on this second level though i'm not sure they're going to get a hundred percent through it there we go we got a nice group of archers sitting there on that storage yeah so we should get through that one as well if that eagle shot doesn't come down and kill them all there we go, got it down, second layer defense. The rest of the barch is working on this bottom section right here, and did I say second layer defense? I'm so used to talking about defenses because 99% of my stuff is war strategy, um, but you know, resource storage is there, and then send it in the heroes to get the last ones uh, that the barch could not quite get. Actually, my barch died out down here, oh man. 
a lot of times a lot of times you're gonna get all that outside stuff plus a lot of that second layer stuff as well with barch so you'll see what i left on the table in this attack significantly less than what i left on the table with the goblins all right now we're gonna move up into because this video is about the best farming strategy for town hall 12 we're going over some popular ones so far but now we're going to start moving into what I feel is the best farming strategy at Town Hall 12. Quite simply because there was not as many barchable bases uh, as there was at Town Hall 11 and all the other Town Hall levels. There's so many dead bases. Town Hall 12 is so hot right now, there is not that many dead bases at all. So, on a base like this, how much of this base do you really think you're going to get with goblins? Not much. How much do you think you're going to get with barch? Maybe a little more, but still not much. When you come in with miners, you can expect to get 95% of this base with those miners. And in this composition, I had two baby dragons because I don't wait for my heroes to heal after these attacks. I will do these mass miner attacks over and over and over again. Uh, no heroes needed. So this is the perfect army for when your heroes are upgrading. Another beautiful thing about this army is it doesn't use any dark elixir at all. So when you're trying to max out your queen max out your king which is a struggle for sure that is a major grind at town hall 12 because you have 30 hero levels not even counting the grand warden and then another 20 with him but using armies with miners that use no dark elixir means that you're gonna save up that dark elixir that much faster guys and with this we're gonna see just how much loot we left on the board with this army and guys it's not much i'll tell you right now it's not much at all all right use that grand warden ability to get through the town hall but you guys you guys saw the base if i would have had a barch army cooked or a goblin army cooked this base had like 8400 dark elixir if i wouldn't have had miners cooked up if i would have had one of those other looting armies i would have had to skip right past it because i would know i already know i cannot get that kind of loot in this kind of base with barch or goblin so Barch and Goblins very handy for fast looting, don't get me wrong, but if you don't want to be leaving bases like this behind with, you know, eight, 9,000 Dark Elixir, you better have a Miner Army cooked up because uh, it will get the job done. Now, this is the one I use for when I'm trying to upgrade my heroes or half heroes down or if I'm going really fast, I can't wait for my heroes to heal, I'll use this Mass Miner Army, but... Since my queen is already maxed, I do have another one that I sprinkle in there, and that's going to be Queen Charger, Queen Walk Miner. We're going to go to that one right now. So look, first of all, we're going to take a look at how much loot was left on the board in this raid. Not much. 8,300 dark, over 9,000 once I got my league bonus, even in the lower league. Oh, and guys, your league matters. Your league matters so much. You're like, Corey, you're a Town Hall 12. You have a maxed out queen. Why are you in Masters 3? Right before I made this video, I dropped from Champions down to Masters 3 for this purpose, all right? The loot in Masters 3, maybe even Crystal 1, is the bomb diggity at Town Hall 12. From what I found, Masters 3 is the optimal league for loot at town hall 12 <laughs> oh man i'm just laughing thinking about all the suckers that already canceled this video before they got to that point and they're trying these strategies up in champions league or titans league there's not as much loot there guys there's not as much loot there all right now guys we're gonna take a look at this final one you see i was dropping down a whole bunch just using my queen to drop those trophies um so here here's a good example of that actually I'll just show you real quick how to drop down really, really fast. Um, and here you go. Where, where's she coming in at? Right there. Pop her ability real quick and then hit that end attack button. The reason I pop her ability is in case a Tesla pops up next to her. If she takes damage, I have to wait for her to be done. And I don't want to have to wait for her even for 30 seconds because when I'm dropping trophies, I want to do it. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Now, guys, final looting attack. This is the one that I'm using the most often now, and it's because my queen is already completely maxed out. So those heals, healers, not going to be wasted. Uh, the only thing that you can run into is if your queen dies in one of these attacks and your next army you have cooked up has those five healers, you're not going to get great value out of them. Uh, so you either don't get great value for the healers. You can put them right on the miners if you have to. I've done that because I didn't want to wait. Or you got to wait for your queen to heal up. So a lot of times what I'll do is my first army I will queue up is this army. 
And then the second army that I'll queue up will be a mass minor army. That way, if my queen's still alive, cool. She can help cut in that funnel. If she is not still alive, then I'm not wasting that camp space on those healers that are, you know, most effective with a queen, without a doubt. <clears throat> After looking at this, like after doing this attack, I'm so used to coming in charging like towards an eagle, even though this was dead base and the eagle's not a factor. You can see it's not even activated. Um, <laughs> that I still just tended to charge in towards the healer or towards that eagle. And then I actually used like a group of 10 miners on the left hand side just to establish that side of the funnel. Normally, if I'm in war, that's going to be a P.E.K.K.A. Um, but in farming attacks it's usually just all miners so trying to make sure that these outside buildings are taken care of that way i can get a group of miners in towards that town hall now you're gonna see oh my gosh during a video discord notifications coming in uh, you're going to see me use a ton of spells. I only have a small group of miners in there on the town hall. There's a whole Tesla farm in there. So I used several rages or, and like two overlapped heels right there to make sure that group of maybe only eight or nine miners could get through that section. The group going around the outside is not really facing any resistance at all. Not a big deal. Oh my gosh. I tried to send my Grand Warden with the miners, but the queen was closer. So he went with her. But guys, you're going to want to try to send your Grand Warden with the miners. Most of the time, you're going to get way better value using his health aura, first of all, for that many miners. And second of all, using his invincibility ability, his eternal tome. And there we go. And another thing you'll notice about this, I could have three-starred this attack. But this is a looting attack. If I three-star this attack, I get even more trophies. And then I just have to drop back down again sooner. So once I've gotten all the loot, when I'm farming... I don't wait for that three star to come in. I exit out of the attack. Sometimes a loot building like a gold mine that's full is your last building that you're going to come to and you have to three star the attack to get all the loot. But if I get all the loot before that, boom, I'm done. I'm done with the attack. I'm saving the extra queen health if she's still alive. And I'm trying not to go up too many trophies because the higher I go up in trophies, the faster I go up, the faster I just have to drop back down. And it's, it's pretty fast, but it's still a pain in the butt. Don't get me wrong. But worth it get down into that masters three league if you're a town hall 12 and you're gonna see some amazing returns for your farming so there you guys go my guide to farming the best farming strategy for town hall 12 is miners any of the town halls below that i still think it's barch there's a lot more dead bases at all lower town hall levels barch in like gold league is amazing for town hall 11 and below but at town hall 12 miners are the king thank you for hanging out with me guys if you have not subscribed to the channel yet make sure you hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell guys i'll see you in the next video